Good day everyone. So today in this video, I will be showing that how to enable and install the Hyper-V on Windows 11 Home Edition. So we all know Hyper-V is a native hypervisor built in by Microsoft that enable this feature on the Windows. But sadly, it's not available on the Home Edition of Windows 11 or Windows 10. And right now you can see I am on my Home Edition of Windows 11 24H2. The version is 24H2 and it's a Windows 11 home operating system. And if I try to search for the Hyper-V, so you can see that the Hyper-V manager is not showing up here. And if I click turn Windows feature on or off, I won't find the Hyper-V option here to enable it. All right, so that is the drawback of the Windows 11 home edition, but still I will be enabling it with a very simple trick. All right, so now in order to enable it, just make a right click on your desktop hold up to new, choose text document and in this notepad you will have to paste the code that you will be getting in the description copy the code paste here and this will be the code that you have to paste then you have to click on file from the top menu option click on save as save as type will be to all file and file name you can type hyperv.bat now the name you can change, but the extension you make sure that it's been selected to .bat. Choose desktop and then click on save. Close it. And now you'll find on your desktop, there is a batch file created by the name Hyper-V. Okay, now what you have to do, make a right click on it. Click run as administrator. Click on yes. And now you will find that the command prompt page will be up. And if you read here, it says adding package Microsoft Hyper-V. So basically, it's running the DISM command and enabling the Hyper-V feature on Windows 11 Home Edition. So wait, it may take about a, a 30 to 40 seconds or about a minute. So wait until it's all been done. And once it will be done, it says, do you want to restart the computer now? So yes, it's recommended that you should go ahead and reboot it. So press the Y key and hit the Enter key again and the computer will now be restarted. So now I'm pretty sure once the computer gets restarted, the next time when you search for the Hyper-V, you will try to access it. You would be easily able to do that without any problem. All right, so the computer is up now. Now before showing you, let me quickly bring up the Win version again so that I can show you that I'm still on the Windows 11 Home Edition only because many people think that I have made some kind of a video editing. So now it's not nothing like that. Let me bring it up. And you can see that still I'm on Windows 11 home operating system only 24H2. And then if I click on the Windows search and type Hyper Bingo. So you can see the Hyper-V manager is being enabled and installed on our Windows 11 home edition now. And if I click on it, so you can see that the Hyper-V manager just came up and you can do anything that you want to very similar like Windows 11 Pro edition. Alright, so that's all guys for today and so this way you can easily enable the Hyper-V on the Windows 11. You can even try the same trick on Windows 10 Home Edition. And if you found the video useful guys, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.